welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do recreate Kylie Jenner's makeup look as you saw in the thumbnail. That is the picture I used as reference. And I chose to do Kylie Jenner just because I already have a Kendall Jenner inspired makeup look on my channel. Um, even though it's from, I don't know, I think two years ago. But um, a lot of you guys have been commenting on most of my videos that I look like Kendall Jenner, I look like Kylie Jenner, or I sound like Kylie Jenner. Just a lot to do with the Jenners, basically. So um, I decided to do this look, especially because I have some dupes for the Kylie lip kits. So I did use a dupe that you guys can uh, definitely purchase from the drugstore. This whole look was recreated with only drugstore products. That way you guys can kind of just be able to do a celeb-inspired makeup look with the drugstore products. So... I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social medias, they are at the end credits of my videos, so make sure to watch this entire video to see all of my social medias, or they are linked in the down bar. My Snapchat, you guys, is at the end credits of my videos, my Snapchat code. So a lot of you guys always ask me like what my Snapchat is. It is, my my code is at the end credits of my videos. So if you guys have Snap, you can pull it up and scan my code and you are automatically added to my family. Um, otherwise, I don't have it linked down below. But if you guys want to add me by username, it is just Feministic Faye. That's usually what um, my ads or users really are for any of my social media. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. To start off and basically prime, I'm just going to be moisturizing my face with the CeraVe lotion. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using Maybelline's new Better Skin Foundation in the shade 50. As I put it on, I realized it basically wasn't like my undertone. I'm more like yellow, olivey undertone and this was more peachy undertone for me. So it did look a little light, but I am just going to blend it out with my beauty blender and make sure I go over my ears. So here's where I kind of try to fix it with a contour stick. This is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick. Only I am using the shade Coconut to just bronze up my face and kind of give me a slight contour because Kylie did not have much powder contouring going on. She had more like natural looking contour. So I'm just going to try to make it look as natural as possible and blend it all out. For concealer, I'm using Maybelline's Master Conceal in the shade 20 or light, and I'm just going to apply it in a triangle underneath my eyes with a flat brush because it is come it does come in a tube and not an applicator, so I just squeezed out some of it onto a little flat plate and started applying it to my high points. So my under eyes, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I go in after I blend out everything else and blend it out on the bridge of my nose. Now, this next product you cannot get at the drugstore, but you can get for a very low price on Amazon or something. I think this bottle I have um, is like $18 or something, but it is the Ben Nye Loose Banana Powder, and I'm just going to pack this on with a Luxie brush and just kind of make sure I'm baking with it. So I'm going to set it, and then I'm going to add a little more product to make sure I'm baking on my chin, basically everywhere where I highlighted, so my chin, my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and just a tiny bit on my forehead because I don't want to look like I'm too highlighted like obviously the foundation already didn't match my skin so while that sets or bakes I should say I'm going to move on to my eyes so I'm going to conceal them with the same concealer and set it with the same banana powder Going into my Physician's Formula little quad palettes, this is still one of my go-tos. I'm going to be taking the white shade and just highlighting my brow bone very lightly. And then going in again with this shade from the little quad palettes and messily applying it into my crease and basically all over my lid space. It looked like Kylie just had a very blown out eye look. She just made it look really effortless. 
and it looked like she didn't use many shades so I'm going to be using less shades as possible than I usually do. Um, this Morphe palette is also a really affordable product which is why I included it. Even though it's not from the drugstore you can get it for a very low price so I'm going to be taking that shade that I pointed to and a smaller little crease brush and I'm going to just kind of fake my crease to make it look like I have a bigger crease the way Kylie does even though she naturally has a higher crease than I do I'm just going to fake mine with a little bit of a darker color and then with the same color I'm just going to run it along my lash line on the very outer corner and wing out the shadows so that they connect together at the end then taking this darker brown shade I'm going to wing out my eye which is what Kylie really goes for she does like a little shadow wing which makes her eyes give like an almond eye shape which is what I love to do as well and then to clean it up I just kind of set it with some banana powder and made it a lot sharper and then I'm just going to wipe off the excess to set the rest of my face I'm going to be taking this NYX setting powder it is a translucent powder but I am going to really lightly set because it does give a slight flashback then taking this NYC bronzer, I'm going to lightly bronze up my face because Kylie, like I said before, did not have a very sharp contour or bronzed up look. I am just going to very lightly do it, especially since I cream contoured beforehand. And then I'm going to do the same to my nose. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the faux crease color that we used and I'm just going to do it as close to my lash line as possible. It didn't look like Kylie had much going on down there. Then taking this NYX brown jumbo pencil, I just tight lined my lash line, my upper lash line to make my lashes look a lot fuller. I curled my lashes and I'm adding the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. This is one of my top favorite drugstore mascaras. For blush, I'm using my Essence Baby Doll Blush. It is just a very pinky blush because Kylie in the picture looked like she had more blush than she did bronzer or anything else. And we all know that Kylie loves using very pinky blushes. Then taking this new e.l.f. Um, highlighting palette I guess I'm going to be taking one of the highlights from there and just very lightly highlighting because Kylie didn't look like she had much highlight going on in the picture but I sure do still love my highlight so I packed it on as much as I could um, and then for lashes I'm going to be using some Demi Wispy lashes these are by Ardell and you can get the packs like I do at Ulta or Target or wherever and then to line my lips I'm going to be using NYX lip liner in the color mauve. In the picture that I use as reference, Kylie was wearing her lip kit in Exposed. So the dupe that I used for that is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. You guys know that this is one of my favorite shades from the Soft Matte Lip Creams. So that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Had no need to fight tonight, tonight.